Hey everyone, I'm Steven Stolp, owner and creator of the Radbulance. A good rig is not complete without a good captain's chair. It's all leather seating on the inside, um, done by yours truly. Also, we got an in-dash touchscreen player that has a backup camera, which is great when something this size backs up. It's good to see behind you. And um, I also kept some of the original ambulance controls and made them work, so if you need sirens, they're there. One thing I really like about these seats is you just fold up the armrest, and then you just flip this lever, headrest collapse, goes down, then I have access to all of my electrical here. Um, this is what was originally done with the ambulance. I wired in my 2000 watt inverter along with my MPPT solar controller hooked up to 200 watts of solar. This barrel switch is great. If you have any electrical problems whatsoever, you could isolate the batteries. So you just have one on, you could have both off, you could have number two on, or you could have both on. Awesome. All right, moving on to this tall skinny compartment. It's a shower, of course. So, pop this guy out. And then, see you later. Boom! Just like that. I also have right here my propane canisters. And they hook up to this guy right here, which is the tankless water heater. And the shower head comes out right here. And you want to get in here you can see there's a little window next to the shower head that will show you what that's for later moving on to our shore connection so right here we have 120 volt connection for shore power so you can plug this in at a campground and it also has a battery charger on the inside so it'll charge your 12 volt batteries along with running the 120 circuit you can just plug in a garden hose to the side of this thing and it bypasses the water tanks, the water pump, so you can run directly off a shore water connection. Next compartment up, uh, this is where we keep the water tanks. And basically, they're just six gallon tanks, and you just take this guy. And moving on over to the next one, I've never had an issue. And like I said, I've driven this thing and traveled in it quite a bit. Um, right here is our gray water tank, so you just kind of lift it up. And you know, my water system is hooked up to a sea flow pump. Um, it is 3.4 gallons per minute. So it has better water pressure than most people's houses. Just tight. So this is my utility compartment. This is where if I'm traveling, I'll have all my tools set up on this shelf. Um, I keep stuff like power steering fluid, starter fluid, brake fluid, whatever catastrophic thing may happen on the road, this is the compartment I go to. This is my little patio locker. And you're like, patio? What are you talking about? Well. I brought two chairs for it if you want to come up with me. Now that we're up on the roof, explain a little bit. We've got this beautiful nine foot patio umbrella right down here. Permanent golf tee, strictly for whacking dingers. We got this beautiful AstroTurf from Home Depot itself. And here are my two 100 watt Renogy solar panels. They're a little dirty, it's okay. It still charges my batteries, that's all we need them for. And if you want to get up a little bit, you can see my LED light bar along with my spare tire mounted on my roof. All right, and this is just a little stupid compartment. Um, the only compartment on the whole rig that doesn't lock. So this is where I get juicy, you know? You just grab this 45. See, it is a 45. You just get it. You just get it. You're turning, you're burning. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I got these two Duracell Deep Cycle RV and Marine batteries. There's room under the hood for two more of these. However, I just have the two right now and it's been doing me just fine. It's a little 
feature I added. Right here we got the cooler refrigerator thing. Just open it up. You know, grab yourself a cold one if you want. Alright, enough with the outside of this thing. I know y'all are all excited to see the inside, so let's come come on in. Alright. Here we are inside. Let's turn some lights on. Boom. Okay. Alright. So first things first, we got this beautiful kitchen here, stainless steel backsplash. No, this was not stock with the ambulance, so don't ask me. Right here, I wired in um, the suction pump for the original oxygen tanks into my water pump. So, boom, water pressure. I wired in some USB outlets right here. Plug your phone in, do whatever. What my uh, GFCI outlet is right here, so it's got a little breaker on it for the 120. That is not on right now. I only turn that on if it's 100% necessary. We got the thermostat. Thermostat controls this gigantic blower that is AC and heater only when the engine's running. So, and remember when I explained the shower, that little secret window? Well, since we got hot water on demand, you can clean your dishes with hot water on demand. We got this nice partition right here that really keeps it cool in the back area, which is super rad. And moving on, we got the switch right here. You could reach this switch from the driver's seat to turn the refrigerator on and off. Right here, the griddle cooktop. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, I use this thing. So I have it set up like this because everybody has the burner stoves. I think the burner stoves are great if you're a camper and you're just going camping. However, in a van, cleaning dishes sucks. So when you have a griddle top, you don't gotta worry about cleaning dishes because half your dish is the top. But up here, we have the pantry. So, I mean, I got some cashews, I got Spam, you know, I, I keep all my snacks up here, just dry store. Stays super fresh in here. I've had bread go in there for a while. It didn't go moldy. It's pretty great. Down here, this is a refrigerator we looked at earlier that rotates. Just a cool little feature. Show your buddies. Everybody will think you're super cool. So I built this really cool entertainment center. Um, basically, 30-inch TV. I got a DVD player down here. You open up this little compartment. I got... Nintendo 64, bunch of games, you know, whatever you need. Take the load off, just chill out. Right here is where I would keep my clothes when I travel. And these shelves are so deep, I fit my entire wardrobe in just this compartment alone. In this compartment, you know, it's really great to have a crossbow. You know, you never know when you need one of those. Going down to here, I have these little baskets, kind of act as drawers. I mean, this is the original, what came with the ambulance. Um, I just kind of made it look nice and made it work for what it needs to do, and no complaints, no regrets. So you guys are probably thinking, that looks like a shitty sleeping situation. Well, you're wrong. I'll show you why. So first, we lower our bench here. Then, take this guy, flip it up. Nice little strap right there. Undo this little clasp. Got some pillows. Memory foam, of course. And right here, let's flip the switch. We could just hang out. Got a little mini bar if you feel like entertaining. You could draw whatever conclusions you want to draw, but you know, it's a good situation right here. And just as fast as it goes down, it goes right back up. So let me show you that real quick.
And this crazy contraption down here is actually where I normally keep my BMX bike. Um, not that I don't want to give you my life story, but I've ridden BMX my whole life. So my whole BMX bike connects to this bracket right here. So when I open and close the door, my BMX bike fits. And I know somebody's gonna ask me this, so I'm gonna nip it in the butt right now. I don't know if a mountain bike would fit on here. Um, I'm sure you can figure out some way to make it work, but it works great for a BMX bike. Well, that about does it. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more, feel free to follow me at Stolp Solutions. Should be right around there on the screen. And uh, leave a comment, ask a question, do whatever you gotta do. Until the next rig.